Are they even planted that far out? What? I said, are they even planted that far out? The raspberries went the whole way. You're going to have to be really careful then. So our friend and our neighbor Sam is here to help to get the gardens tilled up. We've moved all this garlic out of the way that was in a raised bed. I'm going to work on planting that now down this row right here. And Heather's cleaning up the edges of the garden in the greenhouse for weed eater. It's a productive day. And I just want to point out that it's Mother's Day and Heather has chosen to weed eat and clean up her garden and her rows for her berries on Mother's Day. That's how hard of a worker she is. <laughs> go deeper. They I'm all need to go deeper. I've been trying to get them pretty deep here. I know. And then just... It's gonna be a two shower day, Squish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we got all that garlic planted. Happy Mother's Day. Nice and shady right here, isn't it? This tree leafed out and it's a lot of shade. You should go over by the monster catfish. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Good job, Julia. Look at my fishing pole. What's that, baby? I think that's the biggest one ever. All right, well, have fun. Okay, okay. Call me if you get something really good, okay? Okay. What are you doing? Putting the worm on. Okay, have fun you two. Hey, thank you. Mm -hmm. While the kids are fishing, I have some garden work to get done. The first thing I'm gonna do is get all of these off the porch and water them all. The kids are screaming. I'm gonna go see what they caught. What did you get? Ah! A big one? Huge. A huge one? Who got it? Me. You got it, Julia? All the fish bit me. Are you okay? No, I don't want to give it up. It's true. <laughs> If you're going to catch it, you have to get the hook out. Gross, I don't want to get bit. <laughs> Whoa! Look at I'm trying it. trying to get this hook out. Julia! I'm so scared to put this in a fish's mouth. I'll try to let it breathe for a second. Oh, bubbles came out of it. I'm cute again. Oh, I'm chasing monster. Just wiggle tongue. your tail! Oh, see, he listened. Okay, don't mess with them too much. Good go job, try. you I'm guys. Hook on mine. I had changed my mind. I was, I was done fishing because my hook got stuck in it. Here's your oh, hook. I saw the big bass one. Ooh. He chomped it? You he watched him look. chomp it? Is that why you started to scream? He's big. No, it was me screaming. <laughs> and yeah, that was Jackson. She was like, I caught a bass. He, and I was like, she was like, he was like, ah. Jackson, I heard Jackson say, reel it in, reel it in. <laughs> Here you go, Squish, take your hook. Thanks. Here. You want to put your multi-tool somewhere good? That's not mine. Well, the yeah. multi-tool. Good job, kids. Actually, we don't have worms. Actually, we do. We have full worms. Nice. I'm gonna just watch. I found my soaker hoses and we're gonna lay them out. Right? <laughs> okay. Oh, I think it's gonna do it. digging a hole. <coughs> a trench? I measured I measured incorrectly on one of well, I guess two of my cuts technically. So and you have to dig it down? Well, I I met well, I can explain to you what I did. I was joking. Well I'll just show you here. It'll make sense. 
<laughs> measured the height of the door, which I cut correctly for my for this piece, but I I didn't think to subtract what this would add on the bottom and the top. So the overall height should have been 86 inches. I should have done it at 83, inch and a half here and an inch half there would have made 86, but I didn't, so now it's 89. All right? I made a mistake, but I'm just not we just dig head. down a little, I think we'll be all right. Michael built the doors for the high tunnel in his shop and brought them. We're gonna try to, are we getting them on tonight or just getting them out of the truck? Well, I only have, yeah, I only have one side built, but I brought the stuff down. I think we can just get it on. So, I mean, I did it right and it'll fit. And assuming we don't pass out from this heat. Yeah. Across from each other now, babe. Hang on, I can't. Let go, baby. Let go, we got it. Okay, let's go this way. That's the bottom. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, no, no. Dripping. Oh. <laughs> Okay, he got the doors to fit, and now he's going to cut them into... <laughs> he built them together so that he could cut them when he got out here, so they'd be easier to put on. You got it. Yeah, but I don't know if I got all the way, all the way through. Oh, it sounded like it. I think you did. Oh all right, the goodness. moment of truth here. What in the world? Look at my arm. I didn't think about not having a handle. You did it. High five. I waited for five minutes. I have my finish nailer putting these boards on to sandwich the plastic in. And I got to here and ran out of nails, and I didn't realize it until I just put the door up. So I kept going, do 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 do, all the way down. And it makes those little marks. So you would think that nails are going in. And I cut this so tight that it just wedged in there. So I thought, okay, well, it's in there. Well, it wasn't. So check your nail guns. All right. Oh. Okay, well. so the doors open and close, and they look incredible. Yep, I'm just gonna dig this out. And and dig the other side out, and then build two more. And we're gonna find some little, I'm gonna find some little handles for it. Happy? Happy. Good. These are the carrots I'm going to plant. It says they're sugary sweet and the roots can power through soil, tough soil and blistering heat. So since I'm late planting, I'm just going to get these in and then I'm going to save my other carrots for fall. All right, Jackson is putting some more soil in his beds. I'm gonna go feed the chickens and get them locked up so they don't eat my plants. That looks great. Thank you. Okay, I ended up losing my old 
the auger bits I used last year, so I went and got a new one. And this one's actually longer, and it works really, really well. So we're gonna do really deep holes on this side and this side for tomatoes, and plant them all the way to the top so they can get nice strong roots. And then the middle, I'm gonna do basil and lettuce and stuff. And then some flowers. So I'm gonna just set you up and I'm gonna make some holes. Our strawberries just came. Now that I got that auger bit, I can use it to make holes in the strawberry rows too, and it's gonna make planting those so much easier. I already got the strawberry rows weeded, covered, and the holes burnt, so I am ready to plant. Oh, awesome. All right, back in the high tunnel, dig more holes, and then I'm gonna put some compost in plant the tomatoes, and then cover them in compost. I went as far down as I had dug with the auger, and I cleared the holes out of dirt as far as I could. These are not as deep as I want them to be, but there's a lot of rock in here, so I can't go any farther. The drill wants to just crank and break my arm, so it's just gonna be as deep as it is. I'm not super worried about it. I also brought in some compost, but I'm gonna fill these holes in once I get the tomatoes in. I'm gonna start doing this side as far as I went I didn't go the whole way down yet with um, my slicers. The neighbor just showed up to plow me rows in the rest of the garden. I'm going to go head out there and help him with that. That is enormous! I'm gonna go grab him some water and a snack. You guys, this man, he's our neighbor. He has come multiple times to help us till and plow. He broke his PTO on his tractor twice and he just keeps coming back. And now he says he's got bees for me and he's gonna help me learn. I'm so excited. He's gonna keep plowing rows so we can get our potatoes and corn in. I'm late a little bit on that, but I think it'll be okay. And then he's gonna come get the PTO part and he's gonna tell this and do rows here for my greasy beans. And I'm just so excited. I'm gonna keep working in the high tunnel while he plows. All right, he's done plowing. He's taking off to go home and mow. So now that he's gone, I'm just gonna keep working away on these tomatoes. Oh yeah, strong mama. I decided to plant some potatoes. Jackson helped me. Oh. We started with a whole row of Yukon gold and we still have a pile here. We're gonna go to the next row. <laughs> That's a good potato. And hill them up. I got both our hooks planted and covered, and I'm tired. Yep. 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 Yep.
Here you go. Okay. Well, let's just do sweet corn first. Okay. And then I have this so just other. Just grab what you might want to plant in case we. That's it. It's, it's cold. And I need to get in the head tunnel and work more. Okay. I need to just put compost on the ones I put in holes and then I need to water real quick. Okay. getting dark out here we're trying to finish up what we're planting for now so Michael got a full row of sweet corn in and I got another um, row of potatoes and I'm working on the next row and then tomorrow I'm gonna go back in the high tunnel and work and then possibly get my strawberries in uh, so the kids windows face the garden so they had their windows open and were yawn us and stuff so it's nine o'clock Kids are outside now, Yay. helping us plant. Juliet's down there with Heather planting potatoes, and Jackson and I are gonna finish covering the corn. You ready? Yep. Let's go. Our neighbor came back and retailed all this. So pretty soon I get to plant. All right, I've got the drill with the auger bit, and I'm gonna try to get all the holes ready for my strawberry plants. I'm gonna try to put them in tomorrow starting to rain right now but i'm gonna see how many i can get done before it rains and when the rain starts really bad i'll just go play in the high tunnel I got over 300 holes dug in just a matter of minutes. Definitely get an auger bit if you can for your drill. Now tomorrow all I'll have to do is soak my bare root strawberries for 30 minutes and get them in. We're all ready. Is that your calendula? That's your calendula you started? Uh-huh. Okay. Is that where you put them? Uh-huh. You think that stuff's gonna get bigger than that and get crowded? Or uh -huh. do you think that's the spacing you want? I want it like that. You want it like that? Okay. That looks good. You got dahlias and marigolds and calendula just packed tight in here, huh? Yeah, well, I didn't have much dirt, so I just had to do it. Yeah, it happens. It'll work. I only have enough soaker hose for this one row, so I'm going to try to plant the tomatoes in the side of this row to just get them out of these trays so they don't die. Nothing better than a greenhouse in the range. I'm gonna go shut my hose off and keep planting. Juliet's gonna put Barbies in here while I work. We will see you next week. Next week I'll be planting over 300 strawberry plants, so stay tuned.